Thank you very much, Lady of Ceremonies, Minister of Community Development, Culture and the Arts, which is Nian Gatsby Dolly and her spouse, Mr. Dolly. Members of the Cabinet, members of Parliament, members of the national community, and I would like to take the opportunity to acknowledge in our presence this evening, principal of the campus of uh, UWI St. Augustine. And I do that for one very special reason. And as I sat there and observed the performances and got myself immersed in them, I was wondering whether next year the University of the West Indies would not want to host us instead of us being hosted here. So we have a bigger venue and lots more young people in celebrating emancipation next year and other celebrations. Because you see, I also acknowledge my wife who is instrumental in getting us to be able to uh, host you here and the staff at this venue. Recently, we hosted the Muslim community on this very stage, in this very hall, and had a very enjoyable uh, day with them. And then last Friday, we had all our youngsters, um, our athletes, the swimmers, the volleyball, the uh, uh, netball players, all our athletes who've been doing so wonderfully well recently. Last Friday, we had a gathering of them here, and then today we have our emancipation celebration. But I feel that this vibe that we have in here should really be exposed to the wider national community and not the fortunate few who managed to come into these halls. And it's on that basis that I think that I would want to ask the University of the West Indies next year to host it up on campus. And make it open, make it public so that the average person can come in and observe that we in Trinidad and Tobago and this very small nation, small islands, we have a powerful component that can stand aside of anything that the world has to offer. And we need to be able to express ourselves outside of limited walls like this. And also, to boil up the spirit of the national community. Because, you know, in Trinidad and Tobago today, there's a lot that is not going well. But there's a whole lot that is going well and would have gone well. But if we are not careful, we can drown ourselves in our own sorrows by saying that there's so much that's not going well. And that will prevent us from being the best that we can be. Because I believe that what I say to young people who are going into exams, that don't worry how much work you've done. Don't worry how much you have not done. But when you go into that exam, just be relaxed and just do the best that you can. And you'll get the best score that you'll ever get. If you worry about it, you panic over it, you'll certainly get the worst score that you can produce. And as a nation, I think as we engage the things that have to be done, as we face the challenges that we have to face on a daily basis, that we can be in a better position to face those challenges and overcome them if we gird our loins and take the resolve of what has gone well and the strength that we can build upon. And there's no stronger sinew than that of our cultural heritage. And Trinidad and Tobago has a deep, strong, and abiding heritage. And that is why when we celebrate here, whether it is Eid, whether it is uh, Diwali, whether it's Emancipation, whether it's Independence, whether it's Tobago Heritage Festival, all of these things are the fabric, or the components of the fabric of the national community that we should draw on and build on. And I'm so pleased to see so many young people being engaged with the kinds of positive things that will do us well and serve us well as we go forward. Emancipation is a very important period of observation. Because you see, sometimes we reflect on who we are and where we've come from. And we've been warned 
by the people like Franz Fanon, that if you don't know where you've come from, you would not know where you're going. And there are those who tell us that we need to know who we are and to know where we've come from to be able to get to the best location that we want to get. Emancipation represents that, or I should say emancipation for us, those of us now who are celebrating, represents that opportunity to pay homage to those who suffered and those who held on to allow us to be here today. I know it's very easy for some people to equate emancipation with whatever else, even some of our own very existence today. But I don't think there's anything that can meet the parallel of slavery in describing the inhumane conditions under which human beings were made to exist. And it's a surprising thing that they survived. And we today can claim what has been left as our ancestry. And this occasion of a national emancipation celebration gives us the opportunity to take a look at ourselves, whether we are African or not, but take a look at ourselves as a people and to understand whether we are doing the best that we can do to be the best that we can be because that's the best way that we can pay homage to those who engaged and endured what slavery meant for those who came out of Africa. Today, Trinidad and Tobago is a developing nation, quite developed in some cases because we are part of the world's trading community. We're reaching out to Africa in a way a little different to what it used to be. We're talking now about trade. We're talking now about trade into Trinidad and Tobago and trade out of Trinidad and Tobago. We're talking about being an, a member of the international community that is not confined within our borders. And we're also coming from a nation of people who have come from all over the world and we are living by and large in peace and harmony on these islands and looking at the rest of the world who might be envious of us even as we are critical of, of ourselves. We in Trinidad and Tobago have a lot that we can be grateful for and thankful for. A lot of it might not be fully appreciated particularly by our young people. And it's not the fault of the young people it is the fault of the adults who have not explained to the young people why they should be better in appreciating what comes their way. It would be hard to defend a situation saying that it doesn't happen here, where our young people, many of them, believe that there's an entitlement without responsibility and there's good work to come and good positions to come without effort. We have to let them understand that nothing that's worthwhile comes without effort. And if we instill that into our culture, that there's good effort to be had and good rewards to be reaped, then our cultural roots and our cultural basis would permit us to develop the country that we aspire to be when we took independence from those who brought us here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls who are around, Trinidad and Tobago is a nation that we all can and must be proud of. Because you see, if we are not proud of this place, who would be? And if we don't speak well of this place, then who would? And if we don't work to develop this place, then who would? And when you remember, it is for most of us, those of us with our two feet planted firmly in these lands is the only place we have. And finally, I want to say that many people who impress us and who may not acknowledge the goodness of our nation, they within their borders have far worse than we have within our borders. But they don't tell us that. And we do not tell them that. There are developed countries where you walk in the streets and you're not sure which vehicle is going to run you over the pavement. But we never tell the world to be careful about going there. We go there without murmur. 
But if we have one incident in Trinidad and Tobago, we pull ourselves down because somebody else has said that we are a bad and dangerous place. That is not to say that we don't have problems of our own. But let us be first in line to praise Trinidad and Tobago largely because of our cultural strength and our cultural heritage. This evening, on behalf of my family, on behalf of all the staff at the Office of the Prime Minister, particularly those people who work here at the Diplomatic Center, I want to thank you all for coming out in your numbers, coming out in your finery, and coming out looking as if you are prepared for the celebrations on the 1st of August, and looking as though you are prepared to defend and praise your country, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for coming, and enjoy the rest of the evening.